Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discussing about a pie chart data interpretation. Pie chart data interpretation. In the previous sessions, uh, we have discussed about uh, tablet data interpretation. Now, in this session, we are starting with uh, pie chart uh, data interpretation. <coughs> See, pie chart data interpretation is also very important uh, for all competitive examinations uh, as well as uh, various uh, placement drives. Uh, for engineering graduates now first of all to solve the questions in this pie chart or else any kind of data interpretation you have to read the information carefully first of all what is the information provided in this pie chart read that information the following pie chart shows the expenditure expenditure incurred on the construction of a house in a city here the information complete information which is provided in the pie chart that is related to expenditure part expenditure of steel expenditure of cement bricks miscellaneous and also labor charges total these are the five expenditures are there to construct a house in a city that is the given information and one more thing the values which are provided in the pie chart all the values are in terms of uh, degrees each and every value is given in terms of uh, degrees that is uh, either 54 72 36 90 108 all these are in terms of uh, degrees now i will tell you before going to the questions i will tell you how to convert degrees to percentage how to convert degrees to percentage as well as uh, percentage to degrees uh, entire pie chart especially in pie chart you must know this uh, these two points see first one degrees to pie chart degrees to percentage <coughs> degrees to percentage see degrees to percentage entire pie chart is having 360 degrees entire pie chart is having 360 degrees and this is equal to total percentage is 100 percentage entire pie chart is 360 degrees and the percentage is total 100 percentage based on this you need to convert degrees to percentage as well as percentage to degrees suppose for example if you want to convert 36 degrees into percentage as we know that 360 degrees is equal to 100 percentage right then 36 degrees is equal to how much percentage which is equal to 100 into 36 divided by 360 here 0 0 gets cancelled 36 36 cancel therefore this 36 degrees is nothing but 10 percentage 10 percentage this is the way of converting degrees to percentage suppose if it is a reverse approach if it is a reverse approach let us take a uh, 25 percentage let us take 25 percentage now we are converting percentage to degrees percentage to degrees 25 percentage is equal to how many degrees 25 percent 25 percent in the sense 25 by 100 right now if you want to convert into degrees total pie chart is having 360 degrees so you need to multiply with 360 into 360 which is equal to here it is one fourth one fourth of 360 which is equal to 90 degrees therefore 25 percentage is equal to 90 degrees in this way you need to calculate uh, you need to convert either degrees to percentage or else percentage to degrees especially while solving the problems related to pie chart diagram definitely you must know these two points first one degrees to percentage and the second one is percentage to degrees we don't know why because we don't know when they will give uh, when he will give uh, degrees and when he will give percentage so you must know the conversions once it is done it is very easy to get the answers especially in pie chart uh, getting the answers are very easy as comparing with the remaining diagrams right see First of all, the question, first question is, uh, the mean of the expenditure is on. 
see the expenditure total expenditure is nothing but mean is nothing but what average right <coughs> mean is nothing but average first calculate the average average is equal to as we all know that average is sum of observations by number of observations here if you add all these values no need of adding but if you add all these values definitely you will get 360 degrees what is the reason because entire pie chart is always 360 degrees entire pie chart is always 360 degrees 360 degrees divided by as we are calculating the average number of observations now you can count the how many different observations are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Total 5 different observations. That is steel, cement, bricks, miscellaneous, labor. Total 5. 360 divided by 5. Which is equal to? How much it is? See here. 5, 7, sir. 5, 7, sir. 35 and next 72. 72 degrees here the average expenditure average expenditure is 72 degrees that particular 72 degrees is on is on that is 72 degrees is nothing but a cement cement is the right answer cement is the right answer option b let's move to the next question see here the ratio of expenditure on steel, cement and brick is here we need to calculate the ratio of steel, steel, cement and next uh, brick. What is steel value? Steel value 36 degrees. Everything is given in terms of degrees. No need of converting into percentage. Okay. If you want to convert into percentage, then only you can convert. But as everything is given in terms of degrees, no need of converting. And second one is cement. Cement is 72. And third one is brick. Brick is 54. Brick is 54 degrees. Now you can cancel with 18 table. 18 2 sir. 18 4 times. 18 3 times sir. Therefore, the required ratio is 2 is to 4 is to 3. 2 is to 4 is to 3. That is the ratio of uh, steel, cement and brick. Once check it out the options. 2, 4, 3 which is option A. 2 is to 4 is to 3. Option A is the right answer for this question. Let's see the third question. What is the question here? The highest expenditure in percentage is... Here, just by observing the given diagram, it is very clear that 108 is highest. 108 is highest. Why? Because remaining all are uh, 36, 72, 54 and, uh, and second highest is 90 and the highest value is uh, 108 degrees. If anything is having uh, highest degrees, automatically that particular value is having highest percentage, right? Here the highest expenditure, highest expenditure in percentage. Highest expenditure is 108 degrees, but we want that value, but we want that value in terms of a percentage, in terms of percentage. See, 108 degrees convert into percentage. Just now I told that how to convert degrees to percentage. How to convert degrees to percentage right see here 108 degrees 108 degrees is nothing but 108 it is having this particular portion this particular portion is having 108 degrees out of total 360 degrees right into whenever you are converting into percentage into 100 percentage symbol that is common therefore required percentage is equal to Required percentage is equal to 108 by 360 into 100 percentage. Here 0, 0 gets cancelled. And next, uh, 18 2s are 18 6 times, 2 1s are 2 3 times. Therefore, that particular percentage 3 into 10, 
30 percentage. 30 percentage is the required answer for this question. 30 percentage. Option B is the right answer. Option B. Let's see the next question. What part of expenditure on labor is in respect to total expenditure? See here, labor charges, labor expenditure is what part of total expenditure? Here, basically labor is having uh, 90 degrees, right? Labor is having 90 degrees. That particular 90 degrees is having how much part of total expenditure? As we all know that total part is always, total is always 360 degrees, right? Total is always 360 degrees and labor is given as 90 degrees. Therefore, required part is equal to 90 out of 360. 90 out of 360, which is equal to 91, sir, 94 times, sir, one fourth part. Here, labor expenditure is one fourth part of uh, total expenditure. Option C is the right answer for this question. Option C. Next one. See here, here the information is uh, of the total expenditure, of the total expenditure, the percentage of expenditure on steel and bricks together is. Uh, see, out of the total expenditure, we need to calculate the percentage of the expenditure on steel and bricks together. Here, the value of steel, value of steel 36 degrees, whereas bricks, whereas bricks that is 54 degrees. Now, as we are talking about together, add these two. Together is nothing but summation of these two. 36 and 54 which is equal to 90 degrees which is equal to how much 90 degrees now the question is uh, we need to calculate the percentage here the degrees is 90 degrees but we want the percentage if you want to convert any degrees into percentage what we have to do total 90 degrees are there out of total out of value will always comes under denominator here total is always 360 degrees total is always 360 degrees sir. therefore 90 by 360 and whenever you are calculating percentage into 100 percentage symbol that is common thing now you can do the calculation part 91 sir 94 times sir. and next 4 ones are 425 sir therefore the required percentage will be 25 percentage 20 5 percentage steel and bricks together expenditure on steel and bricks together the percentage value become 25 percentage that is the required answer option c option c is the right answer for this question guys uh, i hope you understand each and every problem in this uh, pie chart uh, in the coming sessions we are going to discussing about a uh, few more uh, uh, some more uh, pie chart questions uh, in this uh, so I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thanks for watching.